Hello everyone, this is HOB. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you remember, I told you the last time how I visited Nigeria in Basi and how I got lost on the way. I won't say. This is a continuation of it. But I just want you to know I went back and I was able to now know my way. So techniques in knowing where you're going that might help, which I used today. If you're walking on a, a road or you're going somewhere, if you have to count trees or maybe any unique thing you have in mind you see along the way you can use that as a point of reference so that was what I did today actually there was a river something like a river that I saw it was a bridge actually I used the bridge as my reference point and today when I was stopping coming down I now stopped the bus from the bridge came down and found my way so now I'm going back home. I also know where the bus stop is. So I think it's a pleasant um, ride for me. It's gonna be a pleasant ride because I'm not under panic anymore. I'm not um, terrified. So I will be able to know my way home. It's even a big opportunity for me knowing that I have to walk a distance because I naturally like to walk. I have to walk some distance before I get to my own bus stop. Thank you. I'll tell you my story and I will tell you why I visited the embassy. I will say one or two things that might be of use to you just in case you want to go to the embassy and you want to do things in Nigeria embassy. Bring you along too. So that's why I'm doing all of this. Uh, these trees. Those those were some of the trees I used as my reference when I was coming. I used these trees and if you look at the back, you can see I used that. Where that car is coming out from, I used that as my reference too. I used the bus stop as my reference point. I also used these trees. There were lots of things I used as my reference points. Because just in case you don't I'm doing this just in case you don't have anything on you to assist you when you are going somewhere. You can physically assess the place on your way. I remember those days when we were small. My mom would throw things like uh, wood or stones on the ground like traces. was a small bridge that I used. I used this bridge as my reference point when I was going and when I came down here I stopped around this section for the bus now or the taxi. That was exactly what I used. This as a reference point for me. Right? Somebody would want to know why I'm doing this or rather would ask why she doing all this when there is a Google map to assist you if you're losing your way or other devices to use but the reason why I'm doing this is to create awareness and for you just in case your phone the battery goes down or you yourself maybe lost in a place and you have been there before things to put into consideration and what you have to do to assist you. That's what I'm doing now. So you see, I got to the bus stop and that is the right, that is the right one. So I'm using this as a reference. This, uh, that's bus 106041, that's the stand. So I'm there now waiting for my bus. Hopefully my bus will come it's every half an hour or every one hour and I will see myself home. So I think I've made myself clear enough. In, in summary, what I'm saying is that 
because we get so used to having all these devices sometimes we find ourselves where there is no light or rather we don't have our telephones they've gone down out of batteries there are some other things you can do to assist yourself so you don't just get missing completely so one take your bearing know where you are coming from you can count in terms of the houses or the streets or bus stop i use bus stop as a point of contact and the case the bridges and the rivers and trees. 